here. The eastern shop of the city realm is uh, one of the most geographically isolated, marginal, and the comparable reefs of the entire tropics. The eastern tropical Pacific extends from Baja California to Ecuador and include several UNESCO World Heritage Sites like Montpelo Island, Galapagos, Concos, and others. In this realm, the main reef building corals belongs to 12 species, which 11 are broadcast, broadcasting species. Um, this species belongs mainly to three genera, which are Posinopra, Puris, and Pavona. Analogy is the study of recurring biological events or crosses, their timing and relationships with climate and other factors. Particularly in tropical and subtropical areas, the sexual <coughs> is known that the, repro the sexual reproductive activity of coral assemblages follows a continuum, of course, depending on the sampling scale from synchronous spawning to asynchronic spawning. In synchronous spawning, coral assemblages respond similarly to seasonal changes in environmental cues or factors, particularly water temperature and moon phases. It's well known that gametogenic cycles, all sat migration and spawning events are concentrated, particularly in one month or Two, three months. In contrast, asynchronous spawning are characterized by extended, extended to unpredictable reproductive activity. This is attributed to a reduced environmental seasonality and slide of minor changes in water temperature. This is, all no, this is also known as asynchronous breeding hypothesis. Coral assemblages in the eastern tropical Pacific are exposed to water temperatures that varies from strongly seasonal, perhaps in the Gulf of California and Galapagos, to stable water regimes, perhaps the eastern Pacific water pool. Goyin and others have stated that the broadcasting species in the eastern tropical Pacific have a unique pattern of reproductive activity characterized by overlapping and protected gametogenic cycles and also asynchronous spawning. Until today, many aspects of the reproductive phenology, perhaps when coral spawns, how do, they, how do they disperse, what are their dispersal traits, and their functional connectivity remains controversial. Knowing when coral spawns, and their dispersal traits are a key variable, not only for mobility, it's also a key criteria for management and conservation decisions. With this in mind, we address two questions. When the coral assemblage expand, and how reproductive technology and dispersal traits can alter functional connectivity. To address the first question, we perform a systematic review and a meta-analysis from published, from published works, we extracted 183 observations of spawning for living species, 13 observations, direct observations in situ, and 170 observations from direct, from indirect all sites <coughs> stage four. The presence or absence of spawning were delivered from direct observations as I mentioned directly from the field, or indirect, which we define our colonies, polyps, and gonads, with a proportion of all sites at stage four rate than, greater than 25%. We tabulate these, these observations from, from papers as a frequency of observation of spawning per species per month. We also extracted information from publications related to 
data and variable source and field presence and recruitment densities. We found, sorry, for also for in location where sexual reproduction were confirmed from NASA servers, we extracted or downloaded the monthly average sea surface temperature for a 12 years time series. Using this sea surface temperature and, and previous proposals by different authors, we classify the sea surface temperature and reproductive data in four regimes of, of sea surface temperature, which are called tropical dwelling, thermally stable, Galapagos Islands or equatorial dwelling, and seasonal regime. Also, for each regime and, a, and, a, and, and the set of reproduction data, we correlate, we make a correlation analysis between the monthly mean sea surface temperature and the frequency of observation of a span per month. We found two patterns of spawning phenology. The first pattern in the dwelling and the thermally stable regimes, the spawning can be extended and, as, and asynchronous. In seasonal and Galapagos Island regimes, spawning is concentrated in months with higher temperature. Also, we found that in all but in thermally thermal stable regime, this frequency of observations of spawning correlates relatively well with the, with the increase of the mean sea surface temperature. Also, <coughs> from the papers, we found that five of the living species have cells and field in their oocytes, which may generate autotropic larvae that facilitates long distance dispersal, at least for the, for the key reef building species. Also, we found that egg diameter, if we plot the egg diameter of the intertropical Pacific species against the egg diameter of different areas around the world, we found that the egg diameter of intertropical Pacific species are small and are ranked in the lower quartile of the distribution. Reduced egg, a reduced egg size correlates with short pre-competition periods, period that it is hypothesized that can lead to high levels of recruitment. We also found in the literature that extreme low levels of recruitment are consistently reported across the area, from minimum values of zero to maximum values of 20 recruits per square meter year. To address the second question, how reproductive phenology and dispersal traits and terrorist functional connectivity, we parameterize a special explicit larval model proposed for Trem and others. This, this model is composed of three um, modules. <coughs> The first module is a spatial domain of the seascape, which contains the potential habitat for the coral reefs. The second module is an hydrodynamic data surface current velocities, which has a temporal resolution of 25 years. The third module are the biological parameters that describe the reproductive traits of the realm which are the spawning date, the pelagic larval duration, and other factors, other parameters. We simulated the spawning and dispersal for different intertropical Pacific species using or changing the, the frequency of spawning events and the timing of spawning. Particularly with this model, we measure the local retention and self-recruitment for ecoregions. We model three virtual, virtual scenarios, three scenarios, pardon. The first scenario is a virtual Darwinian demon, which describes a species able to breathe year-round 
spawning tiny every full and new moon, Pelagic larva lives long and is a good dispersion. dispersion. We also simulated other two scenarios, a species or assemblage, pardon, that spawns year round and a, a seasonal, a seasonal um, scenario in which there are two spawning events at each semester of the year. With this, this is an example of the simulation. With this simulation, we obtain connectivity matrices and we can perform network analysis of potential connectivity for the, for the three different scenarios. We found that the, no, the number of spawning events or the lesser spawning events reduce connectivity. That is the number of connections, the probability of connectivity, and of course the network topology. As a realm, the probability of functional connectivity is weak. For all model strategies, the connectivity is, is very low. Uh, in fact, lesser than 10 or 1 percent, except for the Darwinian demo. Only the Darwinian demon showed that the dispersal in the intertropical Pacific can be bidirectional from the central Pacific to the eastern and in the opposite way. Also, in, in the seasonal and year round uh, scenarios, we found mainly a westward dispersal from eastern to central Pacific. However, oops. however, the topology of, of the network remains similar in both scenarios. Most ecoregions have higher, high, higher levels of local retention and self-recruitment, with the exception of Galapagos Islands, that show that with these simulations, most of the recruits are exported to other areas. As a conclusion, we show how the coral assemblage reproduce sexually along the intertropical Pacific with the sea surface temperature as a driver. We found two patterns in different regimes, perhaps extended and asynchronous spawning in the welling and thermally stable regimes, and a concentrated spawning in the warmer season and seasonal and Galapagos island regimes. Despite all the reproductive strategies and dispersal, dispersal tree diversity, corals in the intertropical Pacific seems more reproductive isolated than previously thought, which is represented in the low connectivity probability.